Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we chase after those long MIDI notes. Chasing after long MIDI notes isn't exactly what you're thinking. When we're chasing after long MIDI notes, what we're actually talking about is being able to play a MIDI note even after the note start. The way MIDI works is it listens for the note start message. That message comes at the beginning of every MIDI note, and that allows the MIDI and the values within that MIDI to follow thereafter. If you're working in your session and you wanted to start somewhere in the middle of a bar, then you may not hear the MIDI information that's going on. There is a way to fix that, so let's dive into the DAW and turn the setting on. So here we are inside of the session, and it is just a Rhodes-style sound coming off of Presence. It sounds like this. Our tempo is at 95 beats per minute, and I just have whole note chords going at every single measure. So at the beginning of the song, it is just the roads, and it goes like this. So you can hear halfway through bar four is where the drum loop comes in. Now, if I wanted to go in and do some work, maybe I want to be a little bit before my drums. So I'm going to come to beat two. And when I hit play, I have nothing until the drum loop comes in. I don't even have the roads back in yet. And that won't start until the next downbeat. Let's listen. That's because there's another hit of the chords right on the downbeat of bar five here. But if I'm working and I wanna hear what's going on in bar four, this is where we need to chase our long MIDI notes. And it's easier than you think. Let's go into our options. When we're in here, you go to advanced. Underneath advanced, you go to MIDI. And there it is, chase long notes. With this engaged, Take a look at what it does. What it's doing is bypassing the MIDI start command that you would get from the start of playing a note, and it's creating almost a false one. This way, when you're in a long chord or a long note, it will make the sound. You don't have to scroll back to the beginning of those notes to start to hear them. So in this session, when I'm going in and working, maybe I want to go in and do some work around that drum loop, start adding some other elements in, but I don't want to have to go back to the beginning of the bar. Maybe you have a very long song or this droning note that goes forever and just holds, and it started six measures ago. You don't want to have to rewind all the way back. You can chase your long MIDI notes, and when you hit play and start working further down the line, you'll hear that note. So there you go. That's how you can start listening to your MIDI information even after the note start command is long gone. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments, and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.